Siki was giving me high fives before. See? See how she does that? Give me a high five. Yep, high five. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Good morning, everybody. How are we doing today, guys? So they've been making a lot of noise in this room. So much noise that Boo's too nervous to eat his breakfast. So Boo's eating breakfast in the living room. Um, let's see. So the kittens were pretty quiet overnight. I really didn't notice any noise coming out of this room until, I don't know, maybe like 6.30 this morning. Hey Richard, you can give me pets? Would you smell the other cats? I was petting the other cats. You smell the other cats? Um, so what I've noticed is the kittens like to watch the sunrise from this window because I was looking at the security camera footage and every day when the sun rises, they all line up here on the shelf and one of them in the tower. So there'll be six on the shelf, one in the tower, and they'll just all sit there and they'll watch the sunrise. And then a short while after the sun rises, they go back to playing or doing whatever they were doing. So they'll be like playing at 4 a.m., 5 a.m., and then when the sun rises, they all line up to watch it, and then they go back to their activities. I am going to clean up the room, scoop the litter. Today is the day I get to take poop to the vet. So I've decided I'm going to take some poop out of that litter box. That's the newest litter box. Um, if I can get any poop out of there, hopefully there will be poop in there. And tomorrow is supposed to be about 51 degrees. Uh, tomorrow is supposed to be the warmest day of the week. It's also supposed to be sunny. So tomorrow I want to take all the litter boxes outside, scrub them down and refill them. So I might have to go buy some more litter today to make sure I have enough litter to refill them. And other than that, um, things are proceeding. They're going well. I got a lot done yesterday, which I'm really happy about. I'm trying to get a lot done today also so that tomorrow um, I could just get Thanksgiving things done because the day after that is Thanksgiving and I am having Thanksgiving here. So... Uh, I would like to get a lot done before that. Right, guys? They're going in their little cubby holes over there. There's Ringo. So once I start moving around and cleaning up, they all hide under the day sofa, usually except for Sammy. So if he's going to use the litter box now, I'm going to wait. No, he's not going to use the litter box. So my plan for today is to get this room taken care of and then I want to get the poop to the vet and then after I leave the vet's office I do want to run a few errands like I used to. When I was on the vet schedule I would go to the vet, drop a cat off at the vet and then spend the next few hours getting errands done. So that's what I want to do today. It's nice that I don't have to be at the vet's office by 8 a.m. So it gives me a little more flexibility. Also, uh, if I go to the vet's office, let's say for 9 or 10 a.m., a lot more stores in that area will be open already. Uh, sometimes when I would go to the vet at 8, I'd get out of the vet at like 8.10, and a lot of stores in that area don't open till like 9, 30, 10 o'clock. So I would have to do errands uh, closer to home or just where things were open. So Ringo is in the litter box right now. As soon as he's done, then I'll start cleaning up the room. I just put the runner back on the shelf, but somebody doesn't want to move. She's too busy watching birds. I open the window in the morning while I clean out the room, let some cold, fresh air in. Look at this. Now there's two of them. I 
I did not put any bird seed out today, so there's only some leftover seed and dried corn from yesterday. I just finished scooping the litter and look who we have here. It's Richard, Ziggy, and Sammy. And there's Nancy, she's gonna join them. Yeah, four of the cats watching birds. Look at what's going on here. I see a paw. That looks like Ringo's paw. Ringo, is that your paw? Ringo, move your paw. Ringo, move your paw. Let me know it's you. Ringo, wave at me. Hey, Sammy. I see a paw. Let's see if I can touch the paw. Nope. Whose paw is that? Hey, pretty Ringo. Hey, pretty Ringo. Hey, Sammy. Kiss, kiss. Who's that, Eva? How you doing, Ringo? Who's, who's with you under there? Who's little Eva? Here's Ringo. There's little Eva. Hello, little Eva. And there's Goldie. Hello, Goldie. You feel okay, Goldie? It is 9.05 a.m. The cats are getting homemade raw food with some crunchies on top, which is just dried cat food. They're getting the Wellness Core dry cat food. They seem to really like that. Hey guys. Okay, ready to eat? Who's eating? Okay, ready? Everybody ready? There they go, eating their food. So the other cats have already eaten all the litter boxes in the house have been scooped out. Um, now all the cats have been fed and now I can just get myself ready to take the poop up to the vet and hopefully run a few errands and get home. I'm hoping within two hours, maybe by 11, 12 p.m. the latest. But because it's only a few days before Thanksgiving, there might be a lot of traffic, so I hope not. Hello everybody, it is 6.15 p.m. Look who's in the cat tower. That's Ringo. Hey Ringo, how you doing? There's little Eva, Sammy's rubbing up on me. There's Ziggy, there's Nancy, hey Nancy. So it came into the room so I could scoop out the litter and get everything ready for dinner. So today, one of the things I did was I went and I bought five more bags of litter. So if I get to scrub out all the litter boxes tomorrow, I should have plenty of litter to put in all of the litter boxes. We've been going through so much litter. In this room alone, I'm probably going through three bags of litter a week. Um, and those are like 20 pound bags of litter. What is Sammy doing? 
What are you doing, Sammy? What you doing? You scratching on the window? So, um... Yeah, I didn't, I didn't take the litter out of my car yet because I figure if I'm going to be scrubbing out the litter boxes outside, I could just take the litter out of my car and fill up the litter boxes when they're outside instead of bringing it inside, putting it downstairs where I store the cat supplies and then bringing it back up. So hopefully I'll get that done tomorrow. Today is going to be another late night because I was out for a few hours today after the vet's office. So I definitely have to catch up with like work work today. So I'm kind of just watching what they're doing right now. They're so funny. Oh, it sounds like someone's outside. I think they get excited like before they're going to eat. <gasps> Uh-oh, Sammy. You could share it, guys. You could share it. <gasps> Be careful. Be careful. You could share. See what an alpha? Sammy's like the smallest cat in the room and Ringo's the largest cat in the room and she just made him get out of the top of the cat tower. But I think Ringo might be one of the nicest cats in the room also. Like he's very nice. Sammy, what's the matter with you? Sammy, what you doing? What you doing? You acting crazy? You hungry? One of the things I did today was pick up a rotisserie chicken for the cats. So tomorrow is Ziggy's one month anniversary inside. She's the last cat that came inside. So that means all of the cats have now spent a month or more in the house. So we're gonna have a rotisserie chicken to celebrate. Tomorrow's also the day before Thanksgiving and I did not want to go out to any of the stores tomorrow because they are gonna be a zoo. So that's why I tried to get everything done today that I needed to get done. And I think the cats are gonna enjoy some rotisserie chicken on their dinner. I'm just gonna sprinkle some crunchies on top of these platters and then I'm gonna feed it to them. I just gave everyone their food. They should enjoy it because there's chicken on it. Ziggy just took a piece of chicken over here. She keeps, she keeps taking chickens off the platter. Someone's growling. They only growl when they get rotisserie chicken or boiled chicken or roasted chicken. Who's growling? Is that Richard? They're picking all the chicken out. Happy anniversary, everybody. Happy anniversary, Ziggy. One month tomorrow. So I thought we would have made more progress over the past month than we did but it is what it is and we'll see what happens tomorrow hopefully the vet will not call they told me if they don't call then the stool test was fine and there's no parasites so I'm hoping that is the situation because if that is the situation then what that means is after Thanksgiving I can start putting the gates in the door and just you know, seeing what happens, how are the cats going to react to each other, you know, 
Boo, Stella, Splash, and Simba. How are they going to react to all these cats in this room and vice versa? And then we could take it from there and see what happens. Obviously, I do expect growling and hissing. That's normal. We'll just see how, how that goes. All right, so now I'm going to leave the room and try to eat something myself. Uh, the other cats have been fed, and these cats have been fed, so time for me to eat. It's 9.15 a.m. Good morning, everybody. So the other cats are eating their breakfast downstairs. They're having homemade raw food. And I'm coming into the room to clean it up. Once they clean it up, then everyone's going to have their breakfast. And then I'm going to get along with my day. Hey, Sammy. So it was a good night last night. Things were pretty quiet until this morning. Look at Nancy and Ringo. <laughs> All the girls love Ringo. Hey, Nancy. Hello, Ringo. There's Ziggy. Ringo and Ziggy are like besties. And there's Goldie. And Goldie and Ziggy are like besties also. See? There's the two besties. And Ringo is also besties with Eva. There's a lot of interconnected besties in this group. So I don't know how they would ever be split up. See, look. There's Goldie grooming Ziggy because they're besties. Sammy's talking to me. She's like, where's breakfast? She's rubbing up on my legs. So today, I am very much hoping I do not receive a phone call from the vet because no news is good news, meaning if I don't get any news from the vet, that means there are no parasites. Right, guys? Um, but I do have to get on with my day because there's not much daylight anymore the days are short and if I want to scrub out these litter boxes this afternoon I have to do it fairly early because I have a work appointment around 2 p.m. so um, it usually takes me probably around 45 minutes to scrub out all the litter boxes but that does not include these three in the room so I'm anticipating it's gonna take me I don't know, easily over an hour, an hour 15, an hour and a half by the time I scrub them off, dry them out, refill them with litter, also vacuum and clean like around where they are and under them and behind them and all that stuff. So I'm going to have to start that earlier. So I'm going to have to get on with my day. There's Ringo. They love the scratcher. Hey, Nancy. So here's the routine. I straighten up the runner on the shelf and then I open the window. And Sammy's always the first one to get some fresh air and look out the window, followed by Nancy. The next thing I do is wipe off the shelves and the desk and then sweep the floor. Look what's going on now. Is Ziggy, Nancy, and Richard. I'm halfway through scooping the litter boxes. Hey guys. It's really cold out. It is 9.40 a.m. And it's time for breakfast. Hey guys. Look at Ring. Is that Ringo? Hey Ringo. Hello Ringo. Hey Ziggy, I honestly think they become friendlier toward me um, whenever I give them like chicken. So yesterday they had rotisserie chicken and like last night I was thinking oh, they're a little bit friendlier to me. Even now, look at Ringo, he's like up front and center. 
Did Nancy just rub up against my leg? She stepped on my toe. Okay, who wants some food? Who wants to eat? So, for breakfast today, the cats are having homemade raw food with warm water mixed in. Only because I'm out of chicken broth, I have to make some more. And some crunchies on top. So I'm cutting back on the amount of crunchies that they're getting. I'm not putting any extra canned food on here. So, the cats are filling out nicely. They have definitely been putting on some weight. And it looks like, I don't know, maybe some of them are fully grown. I don't know. Um, but it could also be their winter coat because the cats are all putting on their winter coats right now. So um, what I'm doing is I'm just cutting back on the amount of food that they get at each meal. And we're going to see how that goes. They're, they're still eating really, really well. And um, based on the amount of food on these platters, there's plenty of calories here for them. Um, especially because they have been getting like a third snack at night. They're not just getting two meals a day. They're getting that third snack. Hey, be nice, Sammy. Sammy, be nice, Sammy. So, okay. Come on, Ringo, come on out. It is 1 p.m. And I am going to try to get these litter boxes taken care of. I haven't been outside yet. I've been trying to edit a video today. I'm trying to edit the video where Sammy escapes from the trap. And it's a really, really long video. And yeah, it's taking me much longer than I thought because my hard drive was full and I'm trying to like move files around to make room on my hard drives. And I don't even know if I'm gonna have it done today. Probably not because I have to prepare things for Thanksgiving. So there's probably gonna be two days where I don't post a video. Um, anyway, I'm gonna start I'm um, taking one of the litter boxes outside and uh, working on it and hopefully it's not too cold out. I should also mention that I did not get a call from the vet so I am really happy about that. Sammy's rubbing up against me and I might call them this afternoon just to confirm that the test came back negative but right now I'm happy. <laughs> Sammy's happy too. She's rubbing up on my shoes. It took me about 45 minutes to get these three litter boxes done. I took them outside, emptied them out, scrubbed them down, dried them off, um, and then I came inside and I, I disinfected like behind them, on the floor, underneath them. I took the green mat outside and I shook that out, cleaned it out the best that I could and refilled them with litter outside, just brought them back in. So these three are done. Now I have the other three to do for the other cats. And there's Sammy. She really enjoys watching to see what's going on. And of course, this is probably one of her favorite toys. It's quite warm in this room. I have to remember to water all the plants today. It's 1.55 p.m. and when I left this room, I decided to call the vet's office to confirm the results of the parasite test, the stool test, and it came back negative. So really, really happy about that. Um, so now we could proceed with putting gates in the door and that is all good. And I just realized that there's still one thing in this room that I need to clean and that's the windows. So I'm gonna clean the windows now. For dinner today, the cats are having some of the wellness canned turkey pate and then they have some cooked turkey crumbled on top i had some ground turkey in my freezer and i took it out yesterday and i cooked it today so all the cats are going to have some sprinkled on their meal as a thanksgiving treat even though it's not thanksgiving yet but they're getting some turkey today and then tomorrow, if there's leftovers from the turkey, they can have some leftover roasted turkey also. And the kittens are making a lot of noise up there. It is 5.22 p.m. and the kittens are eating pretty much the same thing the other cats ate. So they're having the wellness turkey pate with some cooked turkey. Um, crumbled on top and they're also having some crunchies. The other cats really didn't have crunchies with theirs. So you guys ready for some food? So with the other cats for their meals, they get about two ounces of canned food each. And um, so I used a 12.5 ounce can of wellness and whatever was left from the other can, which was probably 
um, another four or five ounces. So um, they're all getting two ounces of food here, maybe a little bit more, along with crunchies and the cooked turkey on top. You guys ready? You hungries? Where's Ringo? Ringo! Ringo, come on out and eat. Where you at, Ringo? Where you at, Ringo? Hey, Ziggy. Hey, Sammy. Hey, Eva. Hey, Richard. There's Ringo. Come on, Ringo. You gonna come out and eat? You gonna come and eat something, Ringo? Come on and eat, Ringo. Happy Thanksgiving, Ziggy. Ziggy was giving me high fives before. See? See how she does that? Give me a high five. Yep. High five. Give me another high five. It's okay, Goldie. Okay, I'll leave and then she'll come down and eat and Ringo will come out. Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.